All right, chat. This is Coastline set up in year seven, season four. Coastline is probably one of the most ranky maps there is out there right now. It's so aggressive. However, you can use that to your advantage to win and to sometimes handle aggressive players and shoot them down and keep a solid sight set up is by making good holes and sights. So I'll show you guys who should be playing. Now, before you guys ask, who should I be playing? What are the best operators for hookah, kitchen, coastline, blah, blah, blah. Coastline, along with like the, the, the rule that applies to everyone else on every map is just pick someone that has pretty meta utility and has a good gun. If if that gun you can't really rely to get a lot of kills with, you should pro try try someone else. But anyone with a 1.5 scope on defense is very strong. Uh, even if it's like Thunderbird. Like, as long as you can get kills, that's what you should focus on before, like, utility. Don't play Jaeger if you suck with this weapon. Play someone else. Um, all the holes, I mean, are pretty basic. I think you guys can already, like, it's... This is just a refresher for everyone, but... For those who are new, these reinforcements are like this. Is that way you can stay, you can hold parts of the map without uh, being caught in lines of sight. If I stay right here, I am in like the safe, one of the safest positions except for getting made from below. I'm safe from the hookah window, safe from the hookah balcony, safe from the 90, and I can peek like this and safe from big window. Uh, similar to right here. If I stand right here in vault, I'm safe from big window. Because of the these reinforcement, I'm safe from hookah door, safe from the hookah window. Uh, quad wall, you nor the meta is kind of like you want to hold it out like this so you can see 90. Make head holes here and then reinforce these three. And then these aqua holes are a little bit for more pressure. That way they can't just stand in aqua and feel safe like this. It's kind of ghost pressure too. Um, holes below default. Put your shield either VIP like this if someone already has a shield. Do not do this. Stop doing this on the doorway. Back it up. Put an ADS right there. And yeah, smoke is like freaking cool vibes. Hookah smokes perfect. Like I think I've had all my clutch, the most clutches I've ever had on this bomb site because of my site setup is so good in its default. Or my site setups are based on other people. How I guess was consistent. I've played every situation in this game like at least a dozen times or more moving on to kitchen uh kitchen you don't need a lot much size setup if you're going kitchen i recommend this is where it is like pick a gun bro pick a gun like the minimum you'll need is like one or two rotates minimum so normally people will make to make rotates like this this way you can retake kitchen Shit like that, but remember, this works both sides. You could reinforce these two walls. Otherwise, you can reinforce it all three. It really doesn't matter. Reinforce this single wall right here. Never reinforce off the rotate. Always make the ro rotate on this side. That way, you know, you're safe from the bomb. Rotate, easy. Uh, ooh. Okay, this is a weird one. Uh, Honestly, I haven't really messed with this too much. You can make full holes like this. Um, Otherwise... Most of the time, we just leave this shit soft. You can make full, but like with the bathroom rework in this rework here, it's like, this is already enough. You don't really need, you can just leave this soft to be honest, at least from my knowledge. Um, These holes are really good because this way you can hold all kitchen door walk-in all the way from lobby. That's why I want to say, just pick a gun because you're going to end up playing offsite most of the time. Uh, reinforced probably the first two walls and then leave the other two soft for flooring. Roam, always, always, always start the roam office or blue bar or sunrise. You do not want to give up this map control within like two minutes of the round. Um, you don't need a roam second floor. It's a myth that you always need a roam second floor. You can have people up here. You don't have to roam up here, though. But obviously, if they're taking vert, you want to, like, disrupt them a little bit. But it's better if you start horizontally because you're closer to sight. 
You can swing kitchen window. Basically, it's a very, very easy bombsite to retake as a defender. That's why everyone plays off of it. But obviously, you don't want nobody in sight. So get comfortable with the lobby holes. Like you can see like these long angles, hold sunrise. Like, bro, trust me. As long as they don't get blue bar and sunrise control within the first like minute and a half, you're chilling. You're chilling, bro. Uh, penthouse now. You know what the beauty of coastline is that every bomb site is good. Okay. Um, let's just go castle. Just, just for the beauty of it. You don't need to go castle, but he's helpful. Let's go ahead and do the big one though here. I don't play him that much actually, so let's see if I can even remember. I think I think you would want to castle this and then make full holes. This is basically just kind of like an added extra layering of pressure that we don't drop the hatch instantly foothold so you can see when that drops reinforce these two walls put beepers on like this door um now don't reinforce these you want to make head holes between because vip is like the elbow on organ you want to like hold vip as long as you can this these holes are here that way you can hold into 90 the whole point of these holes are that way you can use other parts of the map to hold on to more control um obviously you don't have to do this all as one person but like if you want you should early roam hookah side that way they can't take it so quickly i call it i call this the uh the top g roam back then uh basically what i would do is i would just like hold this whole part by myself i would make holes right here put a beeper on here put a beeper there and i can literally have knowledge over there if someone walks up and knowledge on aqua so i can play in this position any beeper that goes off gives me enough time to react and i can see the hookah door a lot of angles uh oh also cost with that castle this off this way I don't get shot from courtyard and the last one you can really do is probably the vip door but it's up to you let's say everyone do it here um but yeah that's really about it um make a rotate here head holes between these uh i, th I think you do this honestly penthouse is like bro they barely get close i mean it a like gun it's just gonna come down to gunfights at the end of the day as long as you have some sort of holes it really does not matter like the difference between foot and like lower holes is not that big of a deal but you should like treat like treat every bomb site on uh, on coastline except for hookah that you need to roam. You need to roam a lot, a good amount to get kills. Everything else you can't really play site unless you're playing competitive. All right, dude, I miss playing blue blue bar and competitive was like coastline was played so different. All right, let's go mute. If you can get good at blue bar and sunrise, it's a very good tertiary bomb site to get used to. Uh, always, this is mandatory. Make footholds. Oh, also, you can do this on kitchen, by the way, too. This is good on kitchen. Uh, for time's sake, reinforce these two walls. You can, you know, me jammers are mostly just for ghost pressure. Make a rotate here. Man, I feel like I'm playing comp again, bro. Uh, reinforce this wall here. Remember, this is this is this is like um, what we're we talking about. This is like Puka up top. Remember? Remember these holes? A little bit safer. Ah, uh, wait, was this right? I don't know actually. I spent a while since I played this. I think we just fully reinforce this off. I think this is a fully reinforced also. You can get covered from here. It's up to you though. You can reinforce this one as well. This is cover from the window. Uh, full holes right here because people like to hop in mud sometimes, but this can be a little toe catcher right here. If you ever heard here the term Pangu spot, Pangu played you in this spot. Oh am I? I think it was one of those and he would hold on to this room with his life bro and play with the shotgun beat off that wall right there just pretend i did um full holes here that way you can hold on a lobby so 
you want to try to roam the whole first floor the whole first floor to uh have a comfortable amount of map control you'd also make full holes here this is for like so you can kind of help out with lobby but like every part of the map is always supported by the other room oh also up top reinforce the sunrise hatch uh if you have any extra reinforcements it can really go wherever you want it's personal premise wherever you're playing but you don't really need to hold office too hard that's kind of an attacker sided spot right there um but you know roam top floor a little bit roam kitchen side you don't want to always be crunched up in sight because blue bar and sunrise is really really bad if they all the attackers like corner you into sight all right that is basically how you defend coastline like a pro and uh, in any kind of rank setup like i said my site setups are about 95 percent right the other five percent is your innovative to defend however you want because at the end of the day if you win the round that's all that matters thank you guys for watching on youtube you should leave a like subscribe to this channel I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.